Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to do the hologram effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve, we're now on the edit page and you're gonna need two clips. First, you're gonna need a background clip of someone just interacting with a device or just a random background clip and a second clip of a screencast or a video or whatever you want to display as an hologram. So I'm just gonna bring those two in my timeline. Then I'm just gonna stack them up on top of each other, then trim the excess or extend my screencast. Then I'm gonna select my screencast, adjust the size and the placement, we're gonna be able to adjust that down the line, but here just to make it easier so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm gonna select my two clip, right click on it and create a new Fusion clip. Now we can move over to Fusion. As you can see now in Fusion, we have all two clip that are Merge. And if I bring the media in one to the viewer, as you can see, that's all background. So I'm gonna select it, hit F2, just to rename it. So background, and then I'm gonna select my media two if I bring it to the viewer, as you can see, that's now our screencast. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, F2, and I'm just gonna rename it screencast. Then I'm just gonna bring back my media out to the viewer so we can see what we're doing. So my first step here gonna be to bring the opacity of the screencast down. So I'm gonna select my screencast, hit shift space on the keyboard and search for brightness. We're then gonna go reach and click the alpha channel right there. And here we're gonna reduce the gain. So by reducing the gain, as you can see, we're reducing the opacity of the screencast. You can reduce that as much as you want to get the effect that you want. The value that you're gonna put here gonna depend on your background. If you have a background that is very busy, don't bring it down too much because then it's just gonna get confusing. And if you have a background that is not too busy and that can allow that, you can bring it a bit more maybe. In that case, I think I'm just gonna bring it to 0.7. It seems fine to me. The second note that I'm gonna bring is gonna be a DVE to adjust the perspective. So I'm gonna select the brightness and contrast. It's shift space on my keyboard and we're gonna search for DVE and I'm just gonna bring that in. Now we can adjust the perspective of the screencast with the X, Y and Z axis. So here I could adjust the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis, the size, the position, etc. So just play around until you get something that you're happy with. So here I'm just gonna reduce the size a little bit, play a bit maybe with the Y, same here with the X and a bit with the Z like that. And then I'm just gonna move the position a tiny bit like that. And after playing a bit with it, I get a result that I'm happy with. Now I'm gonna make a bit of space to bring more notes. The next step, I'm gonna select the DVE, it shifts space on my keyboard, and we're gonna search for shadow. And I'm gonna bring the shadow into parentheses SH. Not the drop shadow, not the shader, this one, all right? I'm just gonna bring that in. And here with the shadow, if we adjust the softness, as you can see, we basically spreading out that shadow and uh, it's becoming more prominent on the entire screen. So you can play around with that and already just this could be a look that you could go for. If you want to go for something that is uh, looking just very simple, clean and minimal, not futuristic, you can just go with this and it will look fine in my opinion. Right now I'm gonna go for 0.01. And I'm gonna change the color from black to cyan to give it a bit more of a hologram look. The next step then gonna be to bring a glow to make it look again a bit more like a hologram, something that just is spreading light around. So I'm gonna select the shadow, it shift space on my keyboard, and I'm gonna search for soft glow and bring the soft glow in. In my opinion, that's really what sell the hologram effect because that look then like your screencast, which has a big impact on the look. So here I'm gonna reduce the gain by a lot because I want to be able to see still what's happening on screen. So I'm gonna reduce it about that so I can still read everything and it's not completely burned. And then I'm gonna reduce a tiny bit the glow size maybe. And now if we just do a quick before and after, as you can see, it has a pretty big impact on the entire look of it. It's just brightening up a bit more the screencast and it looks a bit more convincing in my opinion. Now for the animation in, I'm gonna select my screencast and then I'm gonna click on the rectangle of mask. I'm gonna bring the mask over the screencast and here I'm gonna adjust the angle to match the perspective of the screencast. So about that, I think it's working that way. Then I'm gonna set up the height at one. I'm gonna go at frame 25, drop a keyframe here on the height and then go down to frame zero and bring the height down to zero. Now we can go over to the spline editor to adjust the animation. I'm gonna select the rectangle here, zoom to fit, select my point, hit S on my keyboard to smooth out the curve, hit T to bring the ease in and ease out parameter and here change the ease in to 85. 
Now let's play it. Perfect, I'm happy with that. I think it looks great. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.